Welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Jay, and in this video, I want to show you how to use VLOOKUP in conjunction with the minimum function and the maximum function. So over here, I have a, a, a dummy table that I generate uh, by myself. So I have the revenue field and last reporting date, and as well the city column. Over here, I have four questions. I need to figure out the city with the lowest revenue and as well the city with the highest revenue uh, plus the city with the oldest reporting date and the city with the newest reporting date. As you notice, I don't have any lookup values uh, anywhere on my Excel worksheet. And because basically while looking at the minimum items and the maximum items based on the criteria, so we don't even need the uh, lookup value. But to do the VLOOKUP with the minimal function and the maximum function, all we need to do is first we need to insert the VLOOKUP function. So we type the equal sign. And next you want to type the VLOOKUP function. And so our first parameter is the VLOOKUP value. So since we are answering the question with uh, CD with the lowest revenue generated, so we want to use the, uh, the min function. And from there, and because we know that we're looking at the revenue uh, number, so we're going to highlight the uh, first column. So from range A2 to A22 in my example. And I'm going to press F4 to lock the cell range. And next, I'm going to highlight the table array. So my table array basically is my entire table. So remember, with the VLOOKUP, you look up values always has to be on the first column of the table that you highlighted. So I'm going to highlight my table from A2 all the way to A22. If you want, you can include in the header as well, but uh, it's not really necessary. So again, you want to press the F4 key to lock the cell range. Next, which is the column index number. So the column index number basically is uh, from your table uh, what's the color index that you want to retrieve the result? Uh, my color index is going to be number three. So from revenue is number one, reporting day is number two, and city will be number three. So I'll type number three as my color index number. And so the last parameter is the range lookup. Because we know that we're going to look at the exam match, so we're going to type false and to search for the exam match. Oops. And once you finish, uh, press enter. Looks like there's an error with our uh, formula. So let's take a look to see what's going on here. Oh, I see. So uh, I forgot to highlight the, so from the table array, I forgot to uh, highlight the table all the way to the end. So if we change this to 22 and enter, and we get uh, Washington, the city that generates the lowest revenue and to do the uh, highest revenue so we can just copy and paste this formula and instead of the min function we're going to change that to max mm, i think that i have uh, multiple cities in this on um, this list so let me go ahead and remove the duplicates so i want to uh, keep this city as unique uh, values Okay, here we go. So now we have Seattle as our lowest revenue generated city. And to answer the other two questions, city with the oldest reporting date and city with the newest reporting date, and we're going to apply the same formal logic. So first, we're going to uh, insert the field lookup function. And our lookup value will be the main function. And by using, by highlight the last reporting date column, and I'm going to lock my cell range from B2 to B20, B21. And our table array, so except this time, remember, with the VLOOKUP, your lookup value always has to be within the first, uh, the first uh, color index. So I'm going to highlight the uh, table from B2 to C21. And F4 to lock the cell range. And this time, we only have uh, two color index, so I'm going to uh, enter two. 
and lookout range will be exact match and close uh, parenthesis and enter and now again to just copy this formula and paste uh, below the cell below and instead of the main function we're going to uh, change the main function to the max function and that gives the Berkeley with the newest reporting date and Chattanooga with the oldest reporting date so this is everything I want to cover in this video and I hope you guys found this video useful if you have any question or any help feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon bye bye